tiredest guy in esports. Name's James Sugar Harding. This is the Dream Hack Quake Live Tournament, sponsored by Kaspersky. Kaspersky. Um, love the name, love the name. Great product. I have no idea what it is. Um, but you know, uh, we are going to see Snowy versus Faz next. Uh, T17 9 ZTN going to be the three maps. I couldn't have said that any faster. Um, yeah, so, you know, they are going to be getting ready to play. We're going to get them as going as uh, quick as we can. We are back on our normal stream. Um, Faz is representing Rice. Sturmy representing himself. He's like, I represent me. Um, very cool. And, uh, you know, if they're ready, we'll get going. But, yeah, uh, Bloodline Champions is a company I'm going to represent here. And um, it might be my next step in esports to be maybe an esports manager for a game developer where I implement esports directly into a game. And then part of the game feature is that you get esports. And it's not just about pros. I'm not just going to organize tournaments for prize money from professionals with all like the contacts I've got over 10 years of esports. You know, you're going to get um, amateur tournaments, you know, like so. And they're going to, it's going to be like an automated tournament system. It's going to be like, if you want to play every Sunday, it's, you know, in your amateur tournament, you know, where you can actually win some stuff, you can play in it. If you don't have teammates, I'll organize pickup tournaments for you where you could get matched to people of your skill level into a, a, you know one of the tournaments of your skill. And there's a tournament there. And, uh, you know, and uh, I'm just going to redesign esports. Um, just probably lose the people a lot of jobs in the future, but whatever. Um, and if I do that, I can still commentate. Yay! So if you sign up and support me, um, basically, yeah, it will be awesome. And uh, once I prove that esports is not a money-destroying project, a black hole, which I think it has been for a lot of people in reality, and you know, and you know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna change that and make it a money-making uh, business. But I'm gonna put the power back into the developers, and I will continue to support um, all the people who support esports with a tournament system because I can give them access to run their own tournaments in game. So rather than having 11 million people that play WoW and fighting to get 200 of them to sign up to the Intel Extreme Masters, you know, um, you get 11 million people in WoW and potentially that's how many people could play in a tournament. You know, you don't need to spend all your money on advertisement and uh, to get them out of the game. And yeah, bloodlinechampions.com. People have um, linked it in Level Up. But it's bloodlinechampions.com. And if you support me, and if I get the job as eSport manager, I'm going to commentate in the evenings. I'll do it for free. I don't care. I don't need money if, if I'm working for someone like that. And then I'm also going to make this game the first ever... Um, I, I, I wouldn't say the first ever eSport game, but I think it would have the title because it would actually put eSports in a game. Rather, like Imagine if Quake Live, if there was like you know tournaments running for amateurs and it was an automated tournament system but you run the same tournament system uh with the pros and the amateurs at the same time so you can't have people hacking or going into it i mean you know zotac cup gives you 100 euros a week whoopee fucking do i mean but you realize that the rest of that money has been eaten up by admins and uh, and a website and everything and you know i could go to zotac and be like hey give me the thousand euros you give to them and i'll put it all in the game and then you get more for your money and, you know, of course, you know, an automated tournament system, you don't need then four admins to admin a tournament. You can um, have an admin to oversee the tournament. Cut costs, make it more uh, efficient. I got loads more ideas, but, you know, whatever. I'm going to save eSports. It's going to be great. Commissioner of eSports, James Hugo Harding, coming at you. But this is the game. Semi versus Faz. Less about me now. I'm not going to talk about it anymore. If you sign up to Bloodline Champions, you are my friend. And we are going to go. So, fancy you on the server. Oh, my God. He's not even on the server. And, um, yeah, but there's way more ideas and thought behind what I'm saying, but it's too much to go into. Um, but you know, that's probably what I'm going to do next if I'm lucky enough to get the job. But you know, community support's always welcomed. All right, Trant is here. We're good to go. Faz versus Thermi. T9, oh, sorry, T9, well, it says 9, but we're on T7. Um, T9, T7, then, I guess. T9 is most likely, no, Faz loves T9. Hmm, yeah, T9 Faz. T7 Thermi and ZTN to finish. And I've got some energy. This Pepsi Max actually works. Oh, my God. Even with no sugar. Here we go. And also, get as many people playing quite live as you can. 
QuakeLive.com. Get as many people on the stream as you can. In the Quake Live IRC channel, in the Level Up IRC channel. Big day today. Final two group stages and the quarter finals before we move into the semis on uh, Monday in the grand finals. But here we go. Faz then keeping the score at 0 0 despite taking uh, quite a bit of damage um, off the start. Lot of love in esports. I'm pr I promote love, not just esports. Promoter of love. Mega. Gonna be dangerous here for Sturmy. And he gets pushed into a wall, does get the Mega, but he dodges out quite predictably and actually uh, Faz hits him with a real nice rocket. So Faz knows he's in control. So let's see if he can make something happen. Gonna go aggressive into the yellow armor room where you expect Sturmy to be kind of uh, camping or at least, you know, playing defensively. And Sturmy has gone through that teleporter to back away. Faz can rocket jump up to the top yellow and this is a, a triple yellow. Because, you know, he picked up all three. I won't ever say that again. And we get uh, this Mega. will be his um, first one after Sturmy got it. And he comes a push in there with the LG. And he does get the kill. Very successful. And a lot of people have said, um, you know, from the Swedish um, pros, that Faz is hot right now. Faz is playing hot. This is his map. And already two frags, and very convincing frags as well. It, it really hasn't been like he's worked for him that hard. He's just kind of got him all. L LG a bit wobbly there, Faz. Wobbly LG. Oh, that's going to be the end of it. Yeah, and it, had he hit better LG in the first fight, he wouldn't have had that situation. So Sturmy just out aiming him there. Faz drops on Mega, and he wins the LG fight. Eight health remaining. The other 25's up, one of them's up, spamming the plasma as he jumps over, smart play, there comes another 25, and he's in good stead, but he needs to get on a yellow, and also, I mean, Sturmy would have got an LG now, and he knows it, so, he's got position on the yellow that he wants to get, gets it cleanly, doesn't really even get hit, Sturmy comes in, nice rocket, and what an air rocket from Sturmy, and even the admins uh, making some weird Swedish noises to the left of me, not all Swedish noises are weird, just most of them. There you go, another LG kill, 18 points of health, brilliant play from Sturmy, all from the air rocket. And once again, Sturmy just playing such a tight game to people here, you, you know. And at Faz, one of the most uh, entertaining Quakers you're ever going to meet, I guess, as well as see play. He is both. A long history, played against all the greats, and he is one of them himself. Mega, gonna be a pivotal moment here. Thermi's LG gonna push Faz away. Nice rocket shot, but a little bit early from Thermi. Faz comes in, he's gonna try and punish. And you know, it's great to do damage from up there because you do have the 25 health available afterwards and the uh, yellow. And uh, he won't even be able to get to it. He was, uh, he backed away for the 50. Faz does have 150 LG ammo. He did take that before going through teleporter. Thermi has no rockets. And as he makes his way to the rocket launcher, gets hit with two. And that's going to be Faz now to look to extend his lead. No way Sturmy can get on Mega. He can spam it, but he's got not enough health to come through the teleporter. There comes the spam. And Faz knows he was going to play this card and actually comes aggressive and uh, shaves off some more health for Sturmy. Now, Faz needs to like chase him, but he needs to predict that if he goes through the teleporter, he could be camping. And uh, there he is. And Faz does predict it. And Sturmy will get out. And, you know, it's... Uh, they really are kind of working each other out here. Faz has definitely got Sturmy's number. It seems like I thought this would be a much harder game for Faz, but it seems like he's got Sturmy down so far, at least in the situations we've had recently. Sturmy's LG is going to be forced away just before the yellow armor spawns, but he will go and get a uh, another yellow anyway. Middle yellow next to spawn as Faz did take the uh, mega. Sturmy... Oh, a tricky situation. He's just going to have to... Yeah, he's got in early on the top yellow, and he's going to try and defend his um, position here. Faz looking to rush with his 180, 150 versus Sturmy's just, you know, 80 armor. Uh, but Sturmy will be able to probably sit this one out, and he's done so very nicely. Oh, that rocket fast shot just dodged by Sturmy. Faz gets two uh, yellows, and Sturmy gets one. But it's okay, because Sturmy's just trying to not take damage, but that's a bad situation to be in. And he even rockets the wall there. And he's trying to do some damage on Mega. Faz rocket jumps up. And Sturmy is hitting great LG. But Faz will finally pick up the kill with 100 health. But he sacrificed a lot to get it. 
It was a worthy sacrifice. And Sturmy didn't really calculate. Didn't calculate good enough Faz's uh, health and armor there. And that's a thrown away frag. But, like, Sturmy was like, I can work with one yellow, you know, for a minute and a half or so. Because I know then I'll have at least 150 armor, which he had like 140. So that fight he died on. He did a lot of damage. But then there was no counter kill for him. He, um, you know, LG in Corridor, but he has won the Mega. Wow, Sturmy having his, um, almost his back to Faz there, letting him do a lot of unnecessary damage. Oh, and Faz hitting us a couple of great rockets. You know, he's, oh, one to the face. And Sturmy's down to 16 pointers health, and one plasma gun will finish him off. Sturmy looking to make something happen at this Mega. He knows he's got a limited amount of time. Looking for the teleporter, and he's actually fast comes up, and look at that! Three good rockets, but just not good enough on the final third. The first two were nice, but Faz gets the Mega. He's hardly got any armor to his name. Hits a nice rocket, and Sturmy's really pushing himself, and that rocket was actually exploding off the wall to make the damage, and there comes an air rocket. And, uh... Just fantastic here from Faz, really, and this is his map. This is, like, Faz's baby. He didn't give birth to it. You know, it's quite, it's quite a big map. It's very painful, but it's it's the one he loves. Or I'm just lying. I don't know. Oh, <laughs> and out comes the smiley. That smiley, by the way, interesting fact. It's not interesting. It's bound to mouse wheel down. That's mouse free. So if you want to be like Faz, mind your mouse free smileys today. And be better or quick. 11 to 3, and this is a more convincing win over Sturmy. Than Avec had. And this is one of the big upsets that could happen in the tournament. Nice first rocket. Second, third. And the fourth was brilliant. And there comes a potential spawn and he misses the rocket. He's gonna go with LG. Sturmy is in a corner. And 13 to 3. You know, we've seen Faz play a lot. But he's never put out a performance quite as strong as this. This is his by far his strongest performance. And he's just hitting everything. I mean, rocket back to back there to the LG. Ridiculous. Nice play from Faz. He actually hit a better LG. Van Sturmy coming up the stairs, but obviously Sturmy going aggressive. I think Sturmy's lost his cool right now. But he's going to have to regroup for map two. I mean, map one, when, it, when it's over, it doesn't really matter what the score is. You're still 1-0 down either way. Nice rocket from Sturmy. Faz actually been giving a lot of trouble here because he's not in a good position for anything. Um, Sturmy has position on map and, uh, you know, easy route, easy access to all items. And you can already see that Sturmy now feels that he's got a little bit of strength. And he's going to try and push back, but of course 15 to 3 is going to be a little bit too much. <laughs> a little bit. Definitely too much from the 1 minute 15, but as long as Sturmy gets uh, some map control and some, um, you know, domination here, maybe when we see in the second map he can uh, carry that through. Final minute of map 1. Faz slowing down the game. Doesn't want to give away the frags. Not even worried about getting the armor. He just wants to run it out. I think he's almost trying to annoy Sturmy here. I mean, why give away a frag when Sturmy wants it so badly? Don't give him what he wants. And that's exactly what Faz is trying to do. Last 40 seconds. Faz, oh, the two plasmas hit. And that's actually a big factor in this LG fight. And I think Sturmy isn't going to come out on top. And he runs out of ammo. And Faz picks up the kill. And Faz's LG is 25%. Sturmy's is also 25%, so that's a, a bad LG performance there from Sturmy. Normally hitting a lot higher than 25, but Faz playing that one nicely. And, uh, you know, we're going to go into the last 15 seconds. Sturmy says GG, but we will be moving into map 2, which will be uh, a map with a railgun, and that's where Sturmy can shine on T7. But this one's almost over. The last fight will go in favor of Sturmy. Or will it? No, Faz is going to get the better of him once again. There we go then. Map 1 over, 17-3. to 3. And Faz, the underdog, takes 
the first map and Sturmy says well played he knows that Faz probably just played probably one of the best games of his career so far and Faz says thank you and when we move into map 2 can he repeat or can Sturmy get that railgun going no oh, we're not even going to go into that like the admins wrote me down the maps in the wrong order I do apologize we're going to go into oh no we are going to go into T7 we went on to ZTN just for a second so T7 a map with a railgun there has to be a uh, each map, you know, factors in favor of different styles. And Faz definitely loves his. Um, okay, he's just so fast around that map. Like he was just really fast, and he doesn't hesitate on that map. And and, and not and you know that's that's just a sign of being so comfortable. It's like if you don't hesitate, it's almost like you don't have to think when you play, and you can just go in and just you know, just like let like yeah, it's like. In, in, in sports, they call it like you hit the zone. Where there is no thinking, there is just doing. And whatever you do is just perfect all the time. And Faz really hit the zone. Uh, you can't say anything else but that. And, and I think that's credit to how good he is on the map. Now, T7 is going to be a different story. He's going to have to hesitate here. He's going to have to worry about some other factors like the Railgun. And this should be a different story. But whether Faz can take this map, if he does, that's a big performance. So here we go. Map 2. And Mega's up and Faz looking for a cheeky uh, rocket spam shot. I was just following him off the beginning. I don't know if you were, but LG's picked up by Sturmy. He's going to drop down. So the fight will be for the uh, red armor. I think they might ignore the yellow armors previous to this. Yeah, and Sturmy, brilliant LG. Faz not able to even get a second uh, good rocket off. And he's got no chance of defending this Mega here. I cannot see this happening for Faz. Sturmy should be able to bust in and take over. Faz is smartly going to leave the Mega room. That's not to... Uh, he doesn't want to play there at the moment. He's got five seconds until Mega spawns fast. So he's going to try and get a position to kind of to defend Sturmy coming out of the Mega. He's actually going to try and sneakily get a rocket. Not going to happen. Sturmy uh, didn't get hit. And he's back in time for this red. It does take two bad rockets from Faz though, Sturmy. And Faz drops down, but he gets the red as well. And almost got the railgun shot. Had he have done that, that would have been insane. Because Sturmy was like, what? I got the red, I got the Mega. That doesn't make sense. But Faz did get the armor, and he's actually got um, advantage here, just because that one red. Now, red armor and mega, you can see the spawn times of them. And of course, if anyone's new to Quake Live and you've been spammed the, uh, the stream, you know, pro players can't see the spawn times. They have to time everything in their head. And there you go. Mega for Sturmy, red armor for Faz. I think that's better for Sturmy, because he can get this yellow and then get the yellow by uh, Railgun. But he's going to actually uh, take straight into the red armor room looking for a fight. Now, Faz might bust through these doors, but he's not even going to go through. Doesn't, doesn't want to take it. Doesn't, maybe he doesn't need the red. Maybe he needs position. And yeah, he's got position. He's notified that red. That's at least five plasma gun shots. So right now, Faz has done it perfectly. And Sturmy is going to be worried. I, I don't even know if he's going to be able to challenge. He's going to come through. Oh, Faz hits a rocket, knocking Sturmy off the wall mid-air as he jumps for the mega and picks up the kill and Faz he is in the zone you can't even think that that's a plan it's just something you have to do and he is hitting everything there's such a good performance from the Swede and we are in DreamHack the world's largest uh, LAN and just have, happens to be in Sweden and it all seems to be going right here for the Swedish players and there comes a potential another kill three rockets to finish and now we have a 2-1 Faz winning T7. And you know, later we're going to have Faz versus uh, Cypher. And that will be on the main stage on Swedish, uh, Swedish uh, TV as well. I think it's like internet TV, but it's linked to a TV station. Faz actually getting a, a little bit of trouble here. And Dermy ties us back up. So, despite some great moments, that was one for... Uh, Sturmy and he's deserved this red armor. He's got to worry about the rockets. He's got to be down to about half health, if I can call it that. Oh, he's on 77. Nice play from Faz. Creative to uh, rocket jump away. Avoid getting uh, hit by the rail, but he's only got the yellow on the other side to pick up. He should have got some health by now. You know Sturmy's going to come in. We've got the mega about to spawn. Faz, oh, Sturmy predicts this one brilliantly. What a great kill. Faz, it's two face rockets. Insane. And, you know, Sturmy, is, that's a perfect move, but what a perfect reply from Faz. Put him down to 8 health, and now he's actually got the red, so Faz is once again in control. But he's a frag down. 
Yellow armor is available on the map, but it seems like they want to take the fight at Mega. Faz didn't get hit by the Railgun. Lucky for him, that could have uh, ruined some of his plans. This red armor will be spawning before Mega as well. Sturmy's on it. Timing the... Oh my god, a rocket to Railgun. And Sturmy's down to 57 points of health. And he ain't going to be able to even, you know, look at Mega or even think about it without dying because that's not, not his item to go for now. He's really just got to work around. And Sturmy is, um, you know, Cypher says his defensive play wasn't so good, but, you know, Sturmy is really good at defensive play. And there's an example why. A uh, nice rocket shot. Doesn't do so well here, but that's a really important railgun. That's that's going to slow um, uh, Spaz down. Even though he got the red, it's not going to mean too much now. Uh, when he comes in the room, because the difference between them is only 50 armor, and he's had to get the yellow to have that event, that 50 armor advantage, and he's going to be late. Turning up to Mega, uh, Sturmy hitting good rockets, Paz lands on the Mega, and hits the Railgun, and ties us up as we move into half time. Here comes a, a potential follow-up kill, and here it comes as well. Just brilliant. Sturmy's actually watching him from death there. He's like, he saw him delay the red armor. Sturmy, smart move there. So he knows roughly when red armor's up. He also knows he's got to defend this um, Mega. Is Sturmy going to go for it? I mean, Faz delayed the red armor so he could get from Mega to red in the correct time. And also to try and throw his opponent off. So Mega, he's going to get. He can't wait too much time to get it. He's got to die for this red armor now. It's up in two. It's up in one. He's going to rocket jump in. And look at this. What a move. What a move from Faz. He delayed it. Sturmy knew it, but Faz knew it better. He had the exact time and rocket jumps off the wall. And what a creative player. You know, just these moves he pulls out. He really looks like we're seeing Faz in his prime. More so than we've ever seen him in Quake Live before. More so than we've ever seen him in Quake 4. Reminiscent of the days in, you know, Quake 3. And he's bringing us these legendary moments against Sturmy, which is a big challenge. But Sturmy comes back. Nice, nice kill from Sturmy. The trouble is about Sturmy... I mean, he's so solid that Faz is having to be amazing to take him out. But Sturmy is constantly solid. You know, you know, you might not think like you might you might be watching this and like and think I'm like you know, like like praising Faz so much. But it's because Faz has to be amazing to take down Sturmy. Sturmy has a very very solid game. You know, it might not look as entertaining as Faz, but it's just as impressive in, in many ways. But you can see how. Faz, when he's trying to break Sturmy, how difficult it is. And you look at all the moments we've had. You've had Faz knocking him off from Mega. We've had Faz rocket jumping over to Red Armor. And he's only got a one frag difference. You know, a one frag lead. So that's credit to Sturmy. So now we have to think, like, you know, what if Faz does one of these attacks and it goes wrong? Sturmy, nice move there with the um, LG uh, going through the teleporter. Didn't want to take the red. Takes the red now. And that helps um, with the time on it. Between that and Mega. So very smart play from Sturmy as well. He's going to make sure that Mega spawns with a decent amount of time between red. Faz doesn't really know the, the red armor time. He, he knows he didn't take it that early. But he's going to be here. Mega's going to be spawning. And now he's just got to defend Faz coming in. But is he going to play the one frag card? I don't think so. Oh, brilliant rockets from Faz. Two really good ones. That's going to send Sturmy to the, uh, the red. Oh, and a grenade and a, a, a railgun. And Sturmy definitely had something to say about that. And one more railgun will cripple him. One more railgun and he will be limping around the map. We're just begging to be killed. And so he knows he's got to get out of here. So Faz has essentially created an opportunity for himself where he can claim one of the big power-ups. And he's going to get Mega. Faz took no damage either. So he's got Mega and he can get a yellow armor after shards. So he's actually only at like a 25 to 30 um, armor difference with Mega. Um, so he's got a big advantage over his opponent. And he's just got to make sure... Oh, didn't need to get hit by that railgun shot. I think it was a railgun shot that hit him or something. Maybe a shotgun blast or LG. Not sure. But he took a little bit of damage. Doesn't feel like he wants to go through those doors to challenge fans. Needs to spam grenades here or something. You gotta stop Sturmy from getting in too early and he finds him at the top corridor. Three rockets and there's the Mega as a reward. And, you know, that's... He knew. I, I mean, I would have spammed grenades at the bottom because I suck. Um, and then, then Sturmy would have come through the top and owned me. Um, but Faz was like, well, it's not too much of a problem if he comes through the bottom. It's a bigger problem if he comes through the top. So he got in position and he shut him out. Brilliant play. Six to four. Two frags for Sturmy to find now. 
Mega's going to be spawning in seven. Sturmy's got no armor, nothing to his name. He's just going to protect himself a uh, 50. But right now, Sturmy could shine. He's got the railgun that he needs. He's taking a railgun from Faz. There's a railgun shot. Uh, a rocket to rail. And Faz is below him. Oh, my God. He jumps in a vertical railgun. Faz can't go for this red armor. He's going to be running for the health. But look what Sturmy's created. That railgun was sick. He was jumping over midair, like, you know, while midair jumping, spinning his mouse down, like, vertically to shoot through the grid, um, or the grates, sorry, of the uh, bridge to hit a clean vertical railgun. I, I mean, Faz felt that from head to toe. Um, it was that vertical. So, 35 seconds on the clock. Let's see if he can find him. He's looking desperately here, Sturmy. He does find him. Is he going to go for the railgun? And he hits it. I didn't even think he stood there for a moment just to kind of admire his work. Um, let's see if he can pick up the kill. One rocket. He knows he's on the ledge. He fell on the ledge and he's off. He's quick. Faz is going to have to be slippery in a vertical railgun. Sturmy puts us on a 6-6 game with the final five seconds and Faz finds himself between a rock and a hard place. And there's another railgun. That's why we love Sturmy. Rail to rail. And that's why he picks this map. What a game. What a performance from both of them. But Sturmy, you know, you, you have to hit the hard. If you've got to hit the hardest rails to win a match, your opponent is amazing. And if you can hit the hardest rails back to back that I've seen in a professional game to win, you're amazing. Credit to Sturmy. What a finish. What a performance. And even uh, spectators in the tournament area are shaking their head. And Avec is just like, what? And uh, admins Vote loving that one as well. Vote passed. And it was all about the railgun. And just incredible from Sturmy. As I mentioned, you know, he had to hit the perfect rails for the last minute of the game. There could have been no mistakes. But Sturmy, famous for being one of the world's best aimers and certainly railers hit every single rail back to back and they were the impossible rails and Faz, you know, he had to do something incredible to take the lead and he did but Sturmy, that's why we love him that's why he plays with a railgun, that's why he picked T7 and we're going into a third and final map. Here we go Sturmy versus Faz on ZTN. This will decide you know is Sturmy going to go out? Because if he loses, he's already lost one match, and Faz, if he wins this, chances are he could be going through. And if he loses this, then Faz has a big challenge. This is really for second place here. Sturmy can't afford to lose, nor can Faz, and they're going to go live in five. Have fun and good games are cooled. Let's enjoy the final game. Two, one. Fight. Camera on me again, you know, I was being all like pro and shit. I was like, I was like, I'll just say what I said again, because you weren't here for my awesome commentary. Yeah, it was... It was <laughs> okay, All right, here we go. Fucking awesome game. I love Quake Live. I'm never, uh, never gonna stop playing and watching this game. Nor should you. Otherwise, I find you and hurt you. Faz gets a nice start. He's got the mega. He's got the. Uh, he's got the armors. And I'm sorry I don't have a cooler voice because then I could like be really excited and cool at the same time. But it doesn't matter. Faz gonna get a red. Mega's gonna be. Uh, for these players to play fast hits once again these good rockets and look at his LG it was better and Sturmy doesn't get the mega and he actually just you know dodged off it the uh, second it was uh, about to spawn so Faz gets the first kill and once again you know already Sturmy on the back foot and that's um you know I, I want both of them to win <laughs> they've both given us uh, an incredible game so let's just have constant draws until um well overtimes Mega, the big play for item here. Faz can drop for it, and he should do. He's going to spam some grenades, I'm sure, yeah, and uh, make it a little bit tricky. He might drop with the rocket launcher. Worried about um, Sturmy's positioning, and he's below him. Sturmy dodged that rocket. Not even sure how that didn't hit, um, but very lucky um, for Sturmy. But, you know, he got um, the Mega, and he is going to build armors quite rapidly here with the two yellows on this map. Nice railgun from Faz. That's a very, very nice to, you know, just to hit something very small there because Sturmy was getting dangerously high, um... On the uh, on the health and armor stack, and once again, Faz hits another railgun shot. So, oh, Sturmy, a rocket to the face, and you know, two railguns, you know, only worth 160 now, as opposed to a rocket which just is 100. And Sturmy comes in with a great LG, 
37% LG with a 50 railgun. Faz is down to one point of health after escaping, but he did get away with his life. And it's not so bad if you um, if you get away with your life. It's just like not dying is super... Like, you can't give a flag. If, if, you, if you got the lead and you're surviving, that's great. Because you're not forced to, like, make the next flag. It, it's, it feels like your opponent should be. And then you could just run the yellows, and that's what Faz is doing. And Sermi's going to come in. He's going to try and deny this. Shuts him down. And uh, great play from Sturmy, really, to kind of uh, put himself out on a limb to get in that yellow armor room. He hasn't lost any position on the map either, and Faz is in a pickle. He's in a stickier situation. I wanted to do a black attic for it then, but it's over now. Nice kill from Sturmy. Two to one, takes the lead after, well, just after two and a half minutes, so three minutes uh, gone on the clock. Items really kind of, you know, in favor of Sturmy now. He's got a good rotation. The only thing that could put him off is Faz, yeah. Comes in. Oh, wow, Faz. That like, was almost a third rocket had Sturmy not gone through the teleport. That would have been big. Uh, red armor, um, Sturmy can't, uh, Sturmy will get. Faz can't really stop him. And Faz not ready for this mega pickup. He wanted the charge. He wanted every little, um, every little uh, help he could get and he's really kind of risking um you know get like he's he's putting himself in really tricky situations to get these armors because every time he's he's going for him Sturmy's got a railgun shot and he's missed two in a row Sturmy so quite lucky for Faz that he's retained 130 of his armor red armor's going to spawn Faz really not there doesn't he's really losing timing he has got a timing on the mega but the problem is he wasn't strong enough last time and he is going to think he's going to go for it and Sturmy's going to drop. Faz is going to stand on it, and Sturmy knocks him off. Faz does hit some great shots, but that was well played from Sturmy. Good play from Faz as well. And uh, Sturmy looks like he almost wanted to leave. Oh, my God. Eight health on Faz. Hits two railguns. Almost hits the third. He actually jumped up to get the shot. And Sturmy's going to have to get that 50. Uh, Sturmy has armor. Faz has nothing. He's going to rocket jump up. He needs to hit a perfect rocket to railgun. And he does. And that's the move. I mean, he hid himself between the uh, weapon chains and he's tied us up at 2 2. What a play from Faz. No armor on his name. A rocket jump up in front of an opponent with an LG. Rocket to Railgun. And Sturmy was just, you know, he was helpless after the first rocket landed. Great play. Red armor going to be spawning. Faz waiting for the 50 that, you know, Sturmy previously took. So he's going to lose out on the red. Um, he's also lost out on the mega. So despite getting the kill, Sturmy has the map. Nice well gun from Sturmy. Finally, he's been missing a lot of those, so he's going to be happy to put one at least onto uh, Faz. And it uh, hasn't opened up much for him, though, in terms of, uh, you know, locking Faz down. And Faz hits one back, and his are a little bit more impressive at the moment, his well guns. They're, they're a lot harder on the angles. There comes a nice rocket jump up. Oh, Faz's rockets. Very annoying here. And Sturmy does need more rocket launcher ammo. I mean, he's, he's going to go for the, the five at least. Um, you can't meet your opponent, you know, on the lower levels or you know a lot of places about that rocket ammo exchange of rail guns both of them going to miss though red armor to mega is going to be the plan for Sturmy. get red get mega get paid and see if it's going to work out here's the red he needs to be quick and he's knocked off Stur faz might make a move for it and he does do so Sturmy hits him he's looking for the railgun shot doesn't hit and faz gets away with 40 uh, 34 health and 100 armor so he helped all he held all the armor but imagine, you know, that railgun came in. That would have really hurt him. But he's up to 100 and 150. Uh, Sturmy's up to 130 and 70. So Faz is actually going to make an opportunity here for Red. And Sturmy shuts him out with a great railgun. That's very important. Had Faz have actually that ambush worked, that would have been his frag. Sturmy wouldn't have never got a kill from the situation. But he um, stopped himself being killed. And now we have a really nice play here for the Mega. Faz will probably won't like challenge it he I, I guess he needs other stuff but he wants to rail it or something yeah and he's going to drop down and uh, he's dropping down just to kind of do some damage but he's putting himself in a shit situation now um, because he didn't get the lower yellow and he didn't get the upper yellow and he's not got enough armor for the red armor attack and here we go he's going to rocket jam once again it's risky this time probably not going to work defensive rockets and he gets away with his life only just though 35 health, 35 armor he escaped with, and uh, Sturmy knows that he's hanging on by a thread right now, Faz. And uh, a couple of these moments, you know, he had a, an opportunity with an ambush with a teleporter, and after that, it's all been about Sturmy so far for the last minute or so. Faz, though, ninja, 
just stole away the Mega. Nice delay on the rocket shot, but Sturmy, and he does that, Sturmy. He jumps at you with rockets, and it's really hard to hit your rocket because you think you've got a shot, and then, you know, he's so quick, he gets in front of you. Faz can't hit another Railgun shot. That would have been the kill, and he is going to be shut down, and Sturmy takes a 4-2 lead. Mega and Red, same time. That's an opportunity here for uh, Faz. Doesn't need to be reckless with the score or anything. Just get one of the big power-ups, work with a yellow. And I think this is a reckless attack for Mega. And I think it's going to not pay off. Here we go. One Railgun will kill him. And uh, he hit the Railgun himself, actually. I don't know if he can get in position um, for the uh, Red. I don't think he can. He was down to 26 uh, points of health, Faz. And yep, he's lost out on the Red. So maybe taking the Red and not challenging for the Mega was a better plan. Uh, as Sturmy is going to bu um, you know, bump himself up to 170. And now 150 armor, as opposed to Faz's uh, 46 armor. So a big difference between these two. But he's lucky again, Faz. He needs to know he's, he's a lucky man. Um, he's got Mega and Red at the same time. Um, Sturmy, if he's a... Oh my god, that is so... That is the worst thing that could have happened. Faz wanted to go red, but Sturmy was camping on it and spamming grenades. And had Faz have been at Mega, he would have taken that Mega. So, Sturmy just kind of fucked him. Um, sorry, Sturmy. Wow, what is Sturmy doing? Okay, he's winning, but only just. That could have been dangerous. Here comes a uh, conversion. Nice ro LG to rocket. And, uh, you know, a slightly uh, different game here on ZTN. I think Faz knows that maybe it's going to be a little bit too hard. I think Faz emphasized too much on the Mega. <laughs> Which is weird when you say that, because Mega is like the big item. But when Red's spawning at the same time, you know, that's, that's where you want to be. Because they both give you 100. Um, but the thing is, like, he might not have known the time. You can't criticize him. Baz gets the red, but doesn't really hold much of his health and armor, and he hits a nice railgun shot. One minute, four frags. He's got position now for uh, Mega, but when he gets Mega, he's really going to find his opponent, you know, by about 30 seconds left. And he does find him. So, you know, are you going to make four frags in 40 seconds? I don't know. Does he have kill some schedule? Six to two. Sturmy leads in the final... 30 seconds. Faz is going to try and hunt him. Sturmy hits a nice rocket onto Faz. Faz will rocket jump up to the red, but he is uh, definitely knows this one's most likely going to be over. Sturmy on the defense. Hits a great air rocket. Shuts him down for 7-2. Faz from Sweden calls GG, but Sturmy clings on to the win and uh, a great performance by him. I mean, some of the frags that he got, absolutely brilliant. And Sturmy, you know, he holds his hand over his mouth, he even shakes his head somewhat, and he is just relieved he wins. But what a great game. What a great series. One of the best series here of DreamHack. And Faz, you know, all smiles from him as well. I mean, Faz, you know, he just loves coming and playing the game, loves to meet the people. Obviously, he wants to win, but he's going to be very happy that he was involved in that. But even happier is, of course, going to be Sturmy from Italy. You can all go to Sturmy.com just to be like, yo, that was cool, dude. You are some railing. And uh, he's going to be uh, at least in a position to take second place. And that's what he wants. He didn't want to be out of the tournament. But you know what? The two, uh, the two guys that missed the Intel Extreme Masters were Faz and Kilson. And they are missing the DreamHack quarterfinals as well. Um, you know, it's, uh, it's a shame in so many ways because I wish we could see him play more and more. But Faz still has a chance, though. He still has a chance. He's going to play against Avec, and he could force a three-way tie. But Avec, you know, that's a tough one. We'll, we'll find out. Yep, so our next game is going to be Strengths versus Avec. I'll get Sturmy to come over. Alessandro. Yeah, he's like, I'm going to go do an interview now. I'm going to get an interview. and Jeremy time. I hope you guys blew up, by the way. I hope you sprayed on IRC. Yeah, you sprayed. Good job, guys.
Yeah, I just said uh, he's doing um, the Manio stuff. We'll get Faz on a little later. I might get Faz to commentate. I <laughs> had some games when I gotta leave. It's three o'clock. Shit, I need to do stuff soon. Here we go. No worries. All right then, so uh, here on the uh, Level Up Your Game .net stream, live at DreamHack, uh, joined by the man who just probably created one of the most exciting moments in uh, Quake, especially not even here at DreamHack, and definitely one of the most exciting moments in Quake. How do you feel after that victory? I uh, feel uh, really, really good, actually, because uh, at, in the middle of T7, uh, Faz was playing really well. I wasn't able to eat my rails. Actually, I wasn't playing uh, that much with Railgun at all. So I felt like, man, if I'm not gonna do anything right now, you know, I'm not, I'm gonna lose this. I'm gonna be out of the tournament. So I really don't know what happened right now. You know, I'm still shocked. So uh, thank you. I, I'm still really shocked, and uh, I wasn't expecting Fast to play uh, that well. And uh, I'm just happy that I managed to do that. Just I don't know. 45 seconds of crazy things. <laughs> yeah, it definitely came down to the last 45 seconds. And, you know, we got IRC in front of us. And you can actually just see, uh, this is what IRC looked like um, when you started hitting those rail guns. It might be uh, reminiscent of, um, of uh, GTV. And uh, just everyone just absolutely uh, blowing up. And... That's what you uh, inspired with that moment. And it still goes on. I almost, I'm scrolling up. <laughs> still, even still me surprised. Yeah, I'm really surprised. Uh, I remember when I hit the last... I heard him spawning in the same place. I knew he was delaying it. So I went back and I tried to force the closest spawn I could. But I wasn't expecting him to spawn at the shotgun twice in a row. But uh, I knew that maybe he would have spawned in front of the red armor. So when I saw him, when I heard him spawning there, I just... Dropped a random rocket, and um, I knew he would, would have taken the jump pad, so I took out the railgun, I shot him, and when I knew that, you know, I would have hit him there, I just went for it. You know, I know the red arm, I think it was up. Uh, you rocket jump. I think you rocket jump really fast. So uh, when I took the, the teleporter, I switched to railgun, and uh, I looked at the timer, and I saw one second left, and I, I shot, and I don't even know... How, I actually hit it right now. I think, I think we're going to have to watch it back to remember how it went on as well. So, um, you know, just a, a, an incredible performance. But, you know, it's, uh, it pretty much should secure your second place, you're hoping, I guess. Um, I mean, Avex still has to play Faz. But, I mean, um, you know, you're, you're, you're impressed by Faz here. I mean, you know, a lot of Swedish people, um, uh, Fox and Zayma said that he's on. He's hot right now. He's on his game. Yeah, I heard he has been playing a lot. Uh, I think because he has done also different qualifiers. So... Um, I was really, really impressed. I was expecting, actually, I was going into this game really confident because um, I played against Cypher and uh, it was my first game and um, I was a little bit shaky, you know. I wasn't really confident. Um, and then I, I, I went into the fast game that I knew that, you know, if I would have played good, uh, it would have been quite a easy win. But he played so well. I mean, on T9, I was like, okay, I'm not... I have 23% shaft, so what the heck is going on? The guy is always in position. I'm always late, so this I know I gotta be careful for the next matches. And on T7, I thought I started good, but then uh, he got a spawn. A match was tie, you know. That's how it goes. He started get a little bit shaky, scared of losing, and. Uh, sorry, yeah, of course, it was a um, cipher that's left in the group, not AVEC. Um, you know, we, we've got some great questions here um, from our audience. We've got one there. Um, you know, do you, ask uh, me for any haircut tips. You know, uh, haircut tips? Oh, come on. Uh. No? Okay, we won't do that one anymore. No, well, I mean, you, got, you had to ask your parents uh, when you, you know, got born. I, I'm lucky. I want to thank my parents for that, I guess. Oh, really? You got stylish parents? No, but I mean, if I got my hair like that, it just thanks to them, you know? Ah, oh, okay. You got got good hair. That's what that's what we say here. Um, but like everyone, everyone, everyone loves your game and loves what you're doing. And uh, you're gonna go through to second place. You've got some big people to take on though. Um, yeah. If, if you even if you do go through, which is you know looking likely. Um, you know. But how confident are you that you could put you know um you know another stormy kind of you know mark on um, Quake history by making something big happen here? Are you playing on top of your game, and do you think it's possible to see you in the grand finals? Well, um, right now I don't. I don't feel uh, 
that good about my game. I mean, uh, the last two matches against Faz, I uh, actually uh, timed really well. But my aim is really off right now. Um, I don't know. I'm, maybe I just need a couple of more games going on. And then I think I'm going to have a little bit of a break uh, till the quarterfinal if I'm qualified. So I'm going to try and play as much as possible and try to, you know, uh, fix that. And uh, I don't know about seeing me in the final. Um, this is a, I haven't played since uh, the European, uh, no, actually the global uh, challenge. In, uh, in March, I had to take a three months break. I have been uh, going through a pretty tough time and uh, a lot of things happened. And, you know, I was also really busy with uh, with a lot of things. So I started playing again uh, two weeks ago and uh, I was feeling okay coming into this. Uh, unfortunately, I don't feel like I'm in the top shape yet, but it's definitely going to be uh, a really good uh, training for the next events. But of course, a lot of your fans out there that are watching, you know, will want to know: Can you hit top shape during a tournament? Can you go from strength to strength? Yeah, um, I think I can. I can definitely put up way more practice and way more time into quick live. Uh, at the moment, especially last year, um, I wasn't uh, during before QuakeCon. I think QuakeCon was the event where I actually thought, you know, I want to go there and win it, you know. But then the, the other events um, were just. Um, I don't know, just okay, because uh, I wasn't feeling motivated enough to uh, put uh, eight hours a day for months, you know. Um, I feel like there is still uh, uh, there still needs to be something really big and really good uh, behind the game and, be be and behind the organization to, you know, put 100% of myself again. To inspire you. No, not inspire, but motivate, you know. I've been playing for... Um, for such a long time in so many different tournaments. So last year, I I would say that I I enjoyed uh, life a bit more because uh, I really miss all my Italian friends. So it was nice to come back and focus on all other stuff. And uh, I I you know I worked a lot on this uh, really awesome project that uh, you know I'm gonna show in the next months. Now I'm I'm have a, I have a little bit more time, so I would like to you know practice as much as possible for the next event, and then we will see. Okay, so, um, you know, what's what's kind of, like, coming up for you in the future? I, I mean, you know, obviously everyone can go over to Sturmy.com. You, you, you do lessons. You do great stuff over there, um, you know, supporting all your fans and the eSport community and everyone who plays Quake. Um, but, you know, where are we going to see Sturmy? Because you sound like right now you're like, well, I haven't really been motivated. I'm not really sure what's going on. So where, what's your, where are your interests now? Where's Sturmy? What are you interested in? Well, right now I'm uh, actually trying my best to launch a really big project for the Italian community, for the Italian uh, gaming. And I want to, it's something that, you know, that like kind of like a give back to all the people that supported me when I was really young. And, uh, you know, I, uh, they had, they took me when I was like 13, 14 and they had, they give me uh, the chance to compete uh, with the best and sponsor me and believe in me. So unfortunately in the past year gaming in Italy, it wasn't so, so big and there were many events. So I want to do my best to put all the community together again and, and do something really nice. And that's one of the things I focused the most in the past eight months. And it's a project that uh, hopefully I'll be launching in the next um, couple of months and uh, besides uh, besides this I uh, you know I still competed um, in the different tournaments I don't think I'm doing bad at all considering you know I mean I've been always in between the top eight spots I would say so it's not bad considering what I all the time and the effort I put on and um, I think uh, the motivation will come and I'm um, I don't want to go into personal detail, personal life, but I just want to say that in the past, uh, this year has been uh, really tough. A lot of things happened, but uh, now it's uh, I received really, a really uh, good news, so it would be really nice uh, to finally uh, relax and uh, focus again on the things I love. Oh, uh, we um, we enjoy you here always at tournaments, and I hope you come back, you know, brighter, stronger, and better. Which it seems like you're on, you're on your up, and you're on, you're definitely going through. Uh Server connection failed. The remote host closed the connection.
connected. That's the community. And, and when people say that, you know, you think, oh, fatality, it's all a lie. You're just going to buy like a, you know, a crazy house and, you know, and shove products down our throat. But it actually seems like he wants to build a community and, uh, uh, or at least help, you know, doing something that he loves to do. So awesome stuff. Um, all right, then. We like Sturmy. He's a cool dude. Almost as cool as me. <clears throat> All right. Mumble apparently crashed, but apparently I'm back. So, uh, whatever. All right. But, you know, general, uh, general gist of it, Sturmy's cool, but I'm better looking. That was the interview recap. Um, I hate it when cameras are on me. I want to ask him retarded questions. Yeah, sorry, I thought Avic was in the group for a second. It's obviously not. Um, next game is Avic versus Strengths. Oh, my God. This is like the big matchup. Um, this is the group as well with uh, Kilson. Yeah. Um, so this is going to decide possibly who's going to be first and second. DM6, DM13, and T9 are the maps. Uh, T7 is thrown. Uh, ZTN's thrown. So T7 out by Avic. Uh, ZTN out by Strengths. DM6 for Strengths. DM13 for Avic. T9 to finish. Let's get the fuck in the game and shut me up. Looks like there are people already in on uh, DM13. And I'm just going to... I see Avic and Strength, so I'm going to join. Good, and maybe we'll be able to, to get one of these two over after the uh, match. The last group stage game. No, it's more. Yeah, all right. We're going to be right back in two seconds, by the way. Got to restart the VOD. It's getting big. It's getting out of hand. So see you in a moment. <laughs> 